Greetings, Rocketeers! This is your Toy Commander! And are you guys ready for today's mission? Yeah! And today's video is intended for play only. Alright guys, it's time for today's fun facts about outer space with the Toy Commander. Cool! Alright, today we're going to be doing something really cool. I'm going to show you guys how to time travel. What? Ooh, time travel. It sounds futuristic, but we're not going to actually physically go from one point to another. We're going to theoretically time travel. I don't even know what that Let means. me explain what I'm talking about. Bingo! So when you go out in your backyard tonight, or now if it's night where you are, and you look up at the sky, you're going to see stars and lights in the sky. Now what you're actually seeing is how things were in the past. Let me explain again. So light takes time to reach Earth because it travels very fast at approximately 186,000 miles per second. That's really fast. So sunlight from the sun takes 8.5 minutes to reach your eyes here on this planet Earth. So if you look up into the sky, not at the sun, if you see that bright star that's 8.6 light years away called Sirius, it is visible with the naked eye. And you're looking back at that star, how it was 8.6 light years in the past. What? This is all possible to travel back in time, not physically, but with your eyes because time is only an illusion. It's not real. Huh? So time is our naive perception of its flow back and forth that doesn't correspond with physical reality. So we're not physically traveling in a time capsule or pod from one point in time to another. That still remains to be seen but we are time traveling with our eyes. But on the contrary, Einstein's general theory of relativity establishes time as a physical thing. It is a part of space-time, the gravitational field produced by massive objects. And you're probably wondering, well, is it possible to stop time? It actually is, but you'd have to be traveling at the speed of light to stop time. All right, on to today's toy review. Today we have FAO Schwartz. This is actually my first FAO Schwartz review on the channel. What? This here is the Circuit Space Station Galactic Experiment Kit. Ooh, la, la. That sounds cool, right? Now this thing has over 25 pieces included in this little set. So today we're gonna to be experimenting with lights and sounds. On the back it says it includes one astronaut, one light-up antenna, one rocket, one rocket launch base, one rocket launch button, one particle analyzer, one foam asteroid, two power switches, three breadboards, three battery compartments, and ten spring connectors. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff to unbox here, so why don't we take this to the other table and start the galactic experiment kit. It's out of this world. All right, guys, we're on the other table, and here's our FAO Schwartz Circuit Space Station Galactic Set. Cool. All right, so let's open this thing up. I'm excited to see what is inside this box. Yeah! A lot of stuff in here. Okay. So look at that cool book. That is our instructions manual. Nice. All right, and then it goes through all the contents on the first page. And right here is the glossary, and we're gonna need some batteries. And also it gives you some safety tips, and each experiment is broken down on assembly. So this should be fun, and operation of each one. So. Let's get going on our experiments. First, we'll take out all the stuff that's in here. Whoa, lots of individual bags. Let's see, we'll take everything out. Lots of stuff. All right, we don't need that. That's just to preserve a freshness. I don't even know what that means. Okay, let's first unwrap all this stuff and get to our first experiment. Okay, so here is everything out of the plastic wraps, and let's go over what each 
piece is first. So these are the breadboards right here. There's one, two, three of those. We also have three battery compartments right here, which we need one, two, three, four, five, six AA batteries. These are the on and off switches. There are two of them right here. See, on, off. And we have nine of these spring uh, connectors right here, right? Our little astronaut right here, check them out. Now we have the particle analyzer floating ball. Where's that? Right here, this thing right here. And then we have the foam asteroid. Where is that? Oh, here's the foam asteroid in a package. And then we have the antenna. We're gonna hook that up. Looks like a big satellite dish, right? SETI. Do, 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 do. Dream SETI, we found aliens on planet Zizzle. Uh, help. And then we also have our rocket, obviously. Here is the launch button right here. So this is, I believe, the launch pad, and this is what the rocket will go on. All right, so let's do our first galactic experiment. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create a basic circuit right here, and you're gonna see the diagram right here. Now, with creating a basic circuit, a lot of times you need to solder things, but they make it easy, so all you need to do is bend back this spring right here, and what you'll do is you'll just insert a wire, and that'll make the connection that way. So on this page, we're gonna be doing the particle analyzer. So there's the setup, one through five. And then on this page, we're gonna turn on our particle analyzer and watch it perform as experiment. So let's go ahead and do this first. Let's get one of these breadboards right here. So step one would take the particle analyzer. I believe you need to run these wires underneath and then just pull them through and put the particle analyzer right here on the end of the breadboard. That's the first step. Number two, we just need to add one of those battery compartments right there. And then number three is an off and on switch. Let's do those two first. On step four, we're gonna need three spring connectors. Now what we need to do is make all our connections with all these wires. Now as you can see, all these wires are making contact with each other connected to this battery here. So everything should flow right through Put it on top for now. All right, let's get our batteries. We have two AA batteries. Let's insert them, make sure they're going the right way. That one goes there, and this one goes like that. Now, we need to turn this switch on and watch our experiment. That ball should rise. Here we go. Whoa, look at this. And it is definitely working. That is so cool. Woo, whoops. Let's try that again. Whoa, come on, get on there. But we have to place it just right. Ready? Oh, let's shut it off first. And then let's place it on. The only way you can do it is if you shut it off first. That is magic. <laughs> That's so cool. So what's happening is there's a little fan inside this particle analyzer and it is projecting the styrofoam ball that makes it look like it's floating. Woohoo! All right, let's turn it off and see if it actually lands right on top or if it falls. Oh, perfectly. All right, that's experiment number one. Let's go on to the next experiment. Now, this one's called the spinning antenna. On this experiment, the actual astronaut will hold this circuit right here in his hand. All right, so there's our setup. Now let's start connecting all our wires. All right, 
so all the wires are making a connection. Let's insert two batteries. Okay, so we ran into a little problem oh, no. with our battery compartment right here. So this is what the battery compartment's supposed to look like. You see the terminals on each side, right here and here. And on this one, it looks like it's faulty. There's no connection Oops. on this side of the terminal. So if this doesn't have a metal connection, it won't work. So this battery terminal is actually no good. What? So we'll try this one here. Let's reset up this one. All right, so I inserted my two batteries. Now we're going to see our spinning antenna. Oh, there it is. Earth, come in. Earth to planet Zizzle. Come in, planet Zizzle. Do you copy, planet Zizzle? <laughs> Loud and clear, my friend. Welcome to Planet Zizzle, home of the Toy Commander. So if there's anything you need, just let me know and make yourself at home. All right, we'll talk to you later. Planet Zizzle to Earth. We've just made contact with Zeep the alien. All right, guys, that's the spinning antenna. Now we're going to do the, uh, let's see, we have one more in the back here we'll do today. This one is called Rocket Launch. So we're gonna launch this rocket. Cool. All right, now we need to connect all the wires. All right guys, so we're all set for launch. We don't have a um, off and on switch. We have a launch button this time. So the rocket, you can tilt it whichever way you want. And all you need to do now is just press this button and we launch. Are you ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We are set for launch. Whoa, that was so cool. So there is a little spring activation in here and you can pop the rocket straight up. Let's try it straight up. Let's see how high it goes. Oh, not very high. What do you expect it to go to outer space? Bingo. No. All right, let's try it again, ready? Cool. Now there's our three different experiments. Now feel free to just kind of play around with these and mix and match some of the components to create your own little experiment. But that's it for today's video with the FAO Schwartz Circuit Space Station Galactic Experiment Set. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Smash the like button and come back to Planet Zizzle to keep the missions going. This is your Toy Commander signing off and I'll see you guys on our next mission. It's now time for me to blast off out of here.